is Emily Cross, and I'm a lecturer in Cognitive Neuroscience. We've done a lot of very exciting things today. We've had a dancer visiting from the Forsyth Company, a prestigious modern dance company in Germany, and he and I are interested in looking at uh, the brain bases of understanding movement. My name is Riley Watts. I'm 26 years old. I'm American. I'm currently living in, in Frankfurt, Germany, where I dance with the Forsyth Company. So Emily and I met last year when we were starting to work with uh, a project of my dance company called Motion Bank. And they have gathered uh, many different scientists and architects, philosophers, other choreographers, dancers, to meet together in Frankfurt and discuss the relationship between dance and science. So it's called appropriately Dance Engaging Science. Um, so we met last year and she expressed an interest to uh, work with me and sort of start some research on, on the brain of a dancer and also the brain of someone watching someone dance. So that's where the idea came and uh, I'm, I'm really happy it worked out to come, to come to Bangor and do this. So we've been recording him in a motion capture studio as well as in a nice TV studio with good cameras and lighting and we've also been scanning his brain to start to get at questions of how the human brain understands other bodies in motion. So we have several objectives from the work that um, we've been doing these past few days with Riley here at Banger. Um, one is what we've just done today, which is to scan his brain and see what he sees in himself as a professional dancer when he's doing really simple movements versus really complex movements, more human-like movements compared to less human-like movements, as well as stick figure movements when he's a stick figure compared to when he's a full person. So that's kind of one objective. The other kind of bigger picture objective is that we want to use this footage that we've been collecting these past few days to address a lot of other more subtle questions about how we learn by observation and how we perceive actions that are very familiar and predictable to us compared to those that are unfamiliar and unpredictable. And this is work we'll be doing with healthy undergraduates um, scanning their brains here as they watch Riley move. I have not done anything like this before. I, the world of science is relatively new for me and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. The whole experience has been great. I, I hope to come back more often and I, I hope to keep working with Emily. I, I think she's amazing. Uh, she's very bright, very inspiring, very encouraging, very creative and very, very, very smart. So I, I hope to yeah, be not only working with her but also it, with uh, other fields of science. I, I, I would like to sort of explore dance's relationship uh, in other parts of science too and, and see how that affects the greater world around us. I did just see the scan of my brain for the first time ever, which was totally cool. I've never seen, <laughs> I've never seen my brain before on camera. That was quite interesting. So yeah, I, I don't know what's going to come from this. It's, it's a new collaboration. It's a new idea. So I, I have no idea what's going to what's going to come out of this, but it's very exciting. I am new to Bangor and I was extremely drawn to come here and set up my laboratory here because Bangor, Bangor psychology is well known the world over. I knew about Bangor psychology when I was studying in America. People have been talking about this department for years and it's a dream come true really to be here. This department is well known for their neuropsychology and for their cutting edge fMRI work, especially in body perception and in action perception. So it's a natural fit for me and I feel like my career is just absolutely well suited here. And of course, on this opportunity to work with a professional dancer from the Forsyth Company, this is a, just an amazing thing that's come together in the past year or so. It's funded by the Volkswagen Foundation in Germany, um, as well as a few other funding bodies. And the, the idea is that they want to have people like Riley come to places like Bangor to work with people like me and you know start to have the artists informing science and now the scientists going back and talking to the dance companies about you know what we can possibly give them to make their work more interesting as well and yeah the fact that we can that Bangor supports this and is interested in it is just you know a home run for me